In today's Vet Girl video, we demonstrate how to treat bread dough ingestion. This is a four-year-old English bulldog that presented for gastric distension and retching after getting into raw bread dough approximately one hour prior. On presentation, this dog was tachycardic with a heart rate of 170 beats per minute, had pink injected mucous membranes, and had bounding pulses. The dog had severe abdominal distension, and we went ahead and placed an IV catheter and did some baseline blood work, which looked pretty normal. We did radiographs, which showed that this dog did not have a gastric dilatation volvulus. In other words, no double bubble, you're in trouble, but just had severe food bloat. The problem with raw or uncooked bread dough is that it can act as two potential toxicants. One, it can result in a severe gastric foreign body, and two, the yeast within the uncooked or raw bread dough basically is metabolized into sugar and also carbon dioxide and alcohol. Unfortunately, what ends up happening is we can see ethanol toxicity as a result of the stomach acting as an artificial warm oven. In other words, it's moist and warm. So our ultimate goal is to try to lavage out as much of the bread dough out as we can. This is ideally done through oral gastric lavage rather than doing surgery, which is more invasive. In this situation, we're gonna sedate the dog with whatever you feel comfortable with. In this situation, we used an opioid such as hydromorphone and diazepam and a little bit of propofol. We intubated the dog to ensure that we could protect the airway and then proceeded with multiple lavage cycles. We used cold water to help stop or slow the yeast metabolism and again, had to use 15 gallons of lavage to completely empty the stomach. You can see here, it takes multiple people to help gastric lavage this patient. Our ultimate goal is to have someone manipulating the stomach and palpating aggressively to help break up that dough so we can get it out on gavage. Once we feel that the stomach is empty, there's no need to give activated charcoal. Again, charcoal does not bind to ethanol or other alcohols. Once we've gavaged the stomach and emptied it, there's less of a risk of any kind of food bloat. We actually did post-op radiographs and confirmed that the stomach was empty. There was no evidence of a gastric dilatation volvulus and no evidence of aspiration pneumonia. Thankfully, the prognosis for bread dough ingestion is fair to excellent with supportive care and aggressive therapy. When in doubt, remember we don't want to induce vomiting in these patients if they're already symptomatic. In other words, they're acting like they're ataxic, hypoglycemic, they're already retching unproductively. When in doubt, it's best to secure an airway with an endotracheal tube and gastric lavage. And thankfully, this English bulldog recovered very well and was back home within eight hours.